Hello everyone and welcome to episode 17 of the group I am in series. Starting off this episode I'm going to make another giant contribution to the group storage as Herblore supplies go. This should hopefully get Dark World Order a few more Herblore levels, quite a few seeds in here as well so everyone can start planting some herbs and get their farming rolling. I'm sure a lot of you guys are also curious of how the group storage is looking. Here's how we're looking right now, I'm going to scroll through it a little slowly. Definitely a lot beefier than it has been for a while. With that out of the way, I did talk about getting my Slayer Helmet imbued. I have not done that yet, and there is a very good reason. I absolutely want to get myself Shazian armor because it gives range bonus. And if I'm going to do Soul Wars, I might as well be training range. So let's go ahead and get the Shazian armor out of the way. Fortunately enough, I did get myself 60% Shazian favor when I went for the Karen mediums. So all I have to do is kill these guys, get 100% favor, and then get the armor. 100% Shazian completed, that is very nice, and we also got myself full Shazian 5. That means whenever I get a Shaman task, I can go ahead and do that, so it's very nice. We're gonna go ahead and head to Soul Wars now and imbue that Slayer Helmet. Before I start the Soul Wars grind, I want to show off why Shazian armor is so good. It's really only the helm and boots, but each of them give plus 4 range bonus apiece, so plus 8 total, which is actually quite nuts, as it really is just the best mid-game range armor you can get realistically. There we are. 508 zeal, we can now go ahead and imbue our Slayer Helmet. I think all I have to do is select, confirm, and now we have an imbued Slayer Helmet. That is very nice, it improves the stats, and it also lets me use the Slayer Helm for magic and range. Now that we got our Slayer Helmets, go ahead and get a new task. Looks like we are going to get Fire Giants, one of my favorite tasks. Before I start the Fire Giant task, I did want to mention at this point I'm Pretty much just going to hardcore grind out Slayer. There's a few tasks I can get that'll sidetrack me slightly, but they shouldn't take too long. We ended up getting a Dark Totem base, starting our third totem. Fire Giant task complete, back to Neve. Alright Neve, what do we got up next? We got ourselves Black Dragon, so we can just do those in Taverly. Black Dragon task completed, and I decided to collect the Dragon Bones, so that way I can use them on the Wilderness Altar to help me work towards Piety. Alright, Neve, give me something interesting. What do we got? We got ourselves Blood Velds. Glad I extended them. That is a juicy task. Ooh, just got myself a hard clue scroll, but that's not it. I actually have myself a prayer level coming in if we pick up this Scattered Ash and scatter it. 61 prayer, but that's not it either, because after I scatter that, I get 1425 total. Absolutely massive. Only 75 levels until we hit 1500. We might actually get that soon, though, at the rate we're going. We got ourselves the hard casket from the blood bells. What's inside? We got ourselves another MSB. Nothing special. Oh, hello. I immediately attacked it out of instinct, but we got ourselves a superior blood veld. All right, what's it going to be? We are going to get ourselves a. Nothing. Honestly, though, the Slayer XP plus the guaranteed totem piece and the guaranteed insult head. Very much just good enough. There we go, we got ourselves a dark totem top. We now have three completed totems. Blood Veil task completed, and before I get a new task, I absolutely have to show you guys all the loot I got from that. On the left there it all is. It, absolutely insane, I don't know what else to say. Got myself over 500, 5,000 even prayer XP just from the ashes. The insult heads is like another 20k. It's absolutely a beautiful task. I did also end up getting a clue towards the end of the Blood Veil task. We ended up getting a casket, so let's see what's in it. We got ourselves more alcohols. The last two clues I've done, though, have been pretty uh, mediocre, to say the least. Now, I don't like to record all of my farm runs, but the level I'm about to get is really big. It may not seem big, but 62 farming. That means I can now plus 3 boost with the pie to plant myself Hespori, which is what I'll do right after this tree run. Also, since I'm next to Neve, might as well get my next task. What do you got for me? We have ourselves Fire Giants. Oh boy. We made our way to the Farming Guild, and if I just eat this pie here, I should be allowed in this area. But the first thing after eating this pie is I'm going to do is talk to Guildmaster Jane and get myself a medium contract. So if we go through here, like a farming contract, get myself a medium contract, and I can now do white berries. I already have some grown, but I have more seeds in the bank, so I'll gladly do that. But the main thing I want to do is go ahead and plant my Hespori. Hespori planted, and I'll show that to you when it's fully grown. With all that out of the way, it's back to Slayer. Another day, another longbone. Fire Giant's task completed, let's head back to Neve. Alright Neve, 
If I were to choose a task, I would really like Dagonoth, so please, could you do that? Cave Whores, that's an interesting task. You can get superiors, and I can also possibly get myself another Black Mask for a teammate. Before I go and start the Cave Horror task, I'm actually going to go ahead and buy the Obsidian Legs. It's somewhere around 9.5k Chaos Ruins, and I don't have that currently, but I've made more than enough money to purchase that just through Slayer tasks. And I'll be making more money as I do more Slayer tasks, so I have no problem going out and spending that right now. Alright, after a bunch of world hopping and selling to shops, if I go ahead and trade this guy with my gauntlets on, it should say it's about 87.1k. Go ahead and buy it, and it's one of the few DPS increases I can still get, so that is very nice. Plus one melee strength bonus, now the only two things that will really increase my DPS, other than like certain boss drops, would be a Berserker Ring, which I guess is a boss drop, and Piety. Another day, another immunity to cave horrors. A4 task completed, no black mask and no superior, but we did get a hard clue toward the end of the task, so we'll go ahead and do that. Before I do that though, let me go ahead and check the log because I'm curious. That means I am over a thousand cave horrors with only a single mask. That is almost double drop rate. Quite a bit sad if I must say so myself. Unfortunately, the clue is uncompletable. Okay, Neve, please give me Dagonoffs, Dagonoffs, Hellhounds. Okay, I guess. Hellhound task complete, and we got ourselves a hard clue scroll. Unfortunately, it's another song I don't have unlocked. So now what are we going to get, Neve? We are going to get Blood Bells. That is such a beautiful task. We'll probably get a Slayer level up to 68 Slayer, so we're making some progress. Absolutely beautiful. Blood Bell task completed. Pretty uneventful. No totem pieces, no superiors. But we did get a hard clue scroll, so let's see if we can get that done. Yet another uncompletable clue. Alright, Neve, what is my next task going to be? More fire giants, oh boy. Not even sure if I should bother recording these at this point. Just assume if I get a fire giant task, I'm getting a longbone. Shortly after the longbone, though, we did get a dark totem base. Things are turning around. Fire giant task completed. Time for a new task. Alright, Neve, I'm back yet again. What do you got for me? Some worms. I actually do like worms. I know a lot of people even block this task. I'm down to give this a try. I'm curious of the method I need to do because I'm going to be praying mage the entire time probably. I don't know if I need to like stand back attack then stand back attack or I'm not sure. I'm gonna give him a try. I didn't think about it at the time but actually this worm task is pretty good because these worm bones I can use at the wilderness altar and it'll help me work towards piety. I'm sure the whole task won't get me a huge amount of XP but every little bit helps. Worm task completed, yet another task without getting a superior. I'm still kind of wondering if they even exist or not at this point. I know I've gotten a few, but it's been a very long time. I did get a hard clue from this task, it's in the bank, so let's go ahead and give that a go. Oh no, yet another clue step I cannot do. RIP. Here for my 10th task in a row at Neve. What do you got for me? We got cow fights. Just gonna kill the little ones, and we'll get a bunch of Slayer points. 110 tasks completed, 60 points, let's head back to Neve. Alright, what is the next task going to be for today? It is going to be a very interesting task. Looks like we are going to go ahead and do a Jad task, that is very nice. So here's the setup I'm going with for the fight caves, I decided to use a range setup instead of melee. I've already done a melee cave, so I figured why not try a range, plus my range stats are quite a bit lower. So it'd be a little bit more fun, and I could use the levels. I got Diamond Bolt Eve for the Jad, and the rest of the ways I'll just use Broad. I think the setup's fine. I decided to go for, with a pretty accurate setup rather than a defensive setup. I think I'll be alright though. 30, zero supplies used. I think we got this. Alright, made it to Jad. Used almost no supplies if I show you guys here. Like four prayer pots. Used a lot of baskets because I was a little complacent. But, I think we'll do just fine. Oh. GG, easy. Was on task, do I get the pet? Looks like we do not get the pet. But, we got ourselves our second fire cape, and I know exactly what I am going to do with it. So if we go over and talk to this giant uh, Ket Ke, he should let me go down here by sacrifice my fire cape. Oops, I didn't mean to say no. Alright, 
sacrifice my fire cape. Yes, hand it over. And now let's give the Inferno my best shot. So I think this is a pretty good point to end the video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm just going to go as far as I can. I don't expect too much out of this waves. I'm pretty good at the Inferno, but not, not like Wooks or anything like that. So I'll just give it my best shot. Appreciate you guys watching. And probably next episode, I'll work on some Slayer again. Let's just hope for the best, I guess. Maybe we can actually do this. Killed it. Uh-oh.